So you're one to make a move to Sumner, Washington. If that's you, you're going to want to stick around because in this video, I'm going to hop into the Mac, right into Google Maps, and I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about the city of Sumner, Washington. That way, when you get here, you know exactly what to expect and we're getting after it right now. Hey, I hope you're having an amazing day. Listen, if you want to be the first one to know about everything going on in the market right here in Sumner, Washington, click subscribe, the little bell, and the like so that you can find out about everything happening here first. Listen, Chris, myself, and the team, we're getting phone calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Sumner, Washington. So whether you're looking at moving in nine days or 90 days, shoot us a phone call, a text, or an email so that we can help you make that smooth move to Sumner. All right, so let's do this. Let's hop right into the Mac, get into this map, and let's take a little cruise around the city of Sumner. Okay, here we are. We are in the Mac now, and we have got Google Maps pulled up. We've got Sumner right there outlined so that we can dive right on into learning about Sumner a little bit. So if you're looking at moving here, there's definitely a few things that you really do need to be aware of. The first thing that I always think is super important to touch on is going to be the key travel times. So some of these smaller cities are a place that people who live people who work in the bigger cities like to go to to lay their head at night and then travel in to the cities for work so let's take a quick look at what that looks like for us okay so Sumner is situated right here in Pierce County you can see uh, Tacoma over there to the left and up here is Seattle so let's just take a quick look here so if you are going from Sumner to Tacoma. This drive right here is going to take you about 25 minutes. Now, here's the thing is this really feels like a, uh, a short drive. In fact, going up the hill on 410, you can actually see the majority of Tacoma, but just the layout of the land between the mountains and the hills, you're still going to spend about 25 minutes trying to get yourself up to Tacoma. Now, on the other hand, let's say you needed to take a cruise up to Seattle. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. You could go over towards Tacoma and then hit I-5 and go up to Seattle. You can also take 167 and go over Either way, these are going to be pretty similar, uh, roughly about the same time. And looking at Seattle from Sumner, you're looking at about a 45 minute drive being into downtown. Now, what I will tell you is if you decide that you want to take this drive during work hours in the morning, this 45 minute cruise is going to turn into a little bit more of a mess than probably what you're prepared for. And then if you're wanting to hit up the airport, take this off, come around, go down, boom, hit the airport, you're there in about 33 minutes. So hypothetically, Sumner is a really great location if you have to work in either city, 25 to 45 minutes will put you where you need to be. So those are some key driving distances that I think are really important to take a look at when you're looking at something. So let's just take a peek here. All right, let's get back into the city. So as you can tell, when you look here at Sumner, um, over to the east, you have Bonnie Lake over here. Um, you have Auburn just north of Sumner and you have y'all up hanging out over here to the west and all of these have their own individual things that are really great about them um bonnie lake has lake taps 
which is a good place to spend the summer, go boating, go swimming, do all that. Puyallup has the Washington State Fair. That is an event that goes on for months. And then Auburn has the Outlet Collection, which is a really great little mall. It's got the only thoroughbred uh, horse racing track around. And it also has the amphitheater that hosts a lot of concerts. So if you're looking to go to a concert and you don't want to maybe get into either one of the city, the amphitheater there in Auburn does host a lot of amazing events. All right, so Sumner, Sumner area is serviced by actually three different school systems for your kids. So Derringer um, up here is this area right here. Some kids go to Derringer. This is a very high end elementary school, great school system. And then if you go into Sumner, you know, Ferrellis, you've got your Sumner High School right here. And this, this high school actually, there it is. There is a brand new um, wing, brand new building being built right here. It's about finished. So they've really been able to expand that school system and Sumner school system partners with Bonnie Lake. So it's technically Sumner Bonnie Lake school system. Now, there are also kids that are um, in Sumner that are over to the West that will end up going to school in Puyallup. So there are three uh, school systems technically that service Sumner. So be sure whenever you make your move that you check out where those are. So one of the neat things about Sumner is it has a really cute downtown. And this is something that I see missing from places like Bonnie Lake. Bonnie Lake does not have as cute of a little downtown as Sumner does. So you really get kind of that small town feel inside of Sumner. Main Street has some really great places to eat. Uh, Ferrelli's Pizza right here. This is one of my favorite. In fact, when I first relocated to the area, this is one of the very first places that I had dinner. And it's really convenient because right behind it, you have your Fred Meyer. So you've got great pizza. You've got your grocery store right there. And then down Main Street, the Buttered Biscuit is a incredible breakfast joint. Now, the only downside to that is that there was a really big fire um, that unfortunately kind of affected all of the Main Street area and it shut down a lot of the um, businesses in this area. And Sumner's Main Street Association is working on obviously helping everybody get uh, back up and going but right now the butter biscuit is still kind of shut down all right here's a couple things that you need to know restaurants wise main street dairy freeze this place has some of the most incredible burgers and i will drive into sumner to have a burger here okay this place is great they've got old-timey milkshakes uh, incredible burgers they might end up standing outside for a while to get one, but I promise you, it's going to be well worth it. Craft 19, this is known for its crepes. They have some incredible crepes. They've got a really cool, cool mural on the side that says, live like the mountains out. Great photography spot. Uh, really awesome um, Instagram moment, if that's something that you're interested in. And then Electric Coffee House. This is a really cool, coffee house here in Sumner. Very, very chill vibes. You can go in there, relax, put your feet up. And like I said, it is right there on that main street section. So if you need some coffee, you got it right there. Now tracking um, with transportation, you know, we don't have a lot of major transit in Sumner. Um, there is some public buses. There also is the, the Sounder, which travels all through from Sumner up to Seattle. So you get a really nice, easy go at that from there. One of the things that I love about a small town, and Sumner is only about 
10,600 people. So you get some really cool, unique, uh, small things in there. And this is one of them. The old cannery warehouse is an amazing furniture store. I know that sounds wild, but it is an old cannery they turned into a furniture store and they have super neat pieces, lots of interesting stuff in there. So if you need to go and get some furniture, that's one of the spots that you're definitely gonna wanna check out. Another really interesting place that I like, you know, especially when you're looking at a town that's only, you know, seven and a half square miles is creeping down Main Street. Like I said, we already talked about uh, Ferrelli's, but there's also some of these really cool little brewing companies. There's some home cooking. And then we have great, some really great Italian food down here on Main Street. Windmill Bistro, this is a top tier place right here. Great food, great sandwiches. Um, obviously, if you know anything about Sumner, there's the iconic windmill there, so you want to check it out. Just south, you can run into the YMCA. Um, this is probably one of the bigger places for exercise and fitness inside of Summer Sumner. And then a really neat hangout is the Purdy's Public House. So this is an old public house. They have really great uh, food, really good specials. They also have um, an arcade inside of it, which is pretty which is pretty fun. Uh, so we'll go out there, they'll have live music, food, video games. It's a really nice place to kind of just stop and chill out. All right, so let's go ahead and let's truck up north a little bit. Now, as you get more north into Sumner, you start to see a big shift in um, the purpose and the use. So you can see here you have REI headquarters. Um, there's a lot of distribution that goes on this corporate offices. Uh, you have Swift Transportation, Infinity Global, JLH Services. Northern Sumner essentially turns into um, what I would call more of an industrial area. Now, of course, this is great because there's a lot of jobs. So as you're seeing all of this, you're seeing a Costco distribution center. You're seeing big auto parts stores, top line downers, Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. These are big Roadrunner. These are big companies with big spaces up here. Lululemon has a great place up here. Let's see here. Yeah, this is Lululemon right here. So plenty of jobs, right? That is a great thing about Sumner. There is a ton of work. And I've stayed at this Holiday Inn several times whenever I was coming up here, uh, visiting the area, deciding kind of where I wanted to go, um, where I wanted to live at. So it's super well-priced. I said it's $179 a night. When you're coming out to the West Coast, everything is pretty expensive. So it's a nice, nice little break. You got the RV, RV sales up here again, prime building sources, just a lot of jobs, ground up construction. This is all just work. This is all work guys. So if you're coming into Sumner, just kind of know that the Southern part of town is going to be where you're going to be doing the majority of your living. And then if your background is anything in the way of, um, manufacturing construction anything along those lines then that's going to be more up north and of course like I said, the town's only about seven and a half square miles so it's not going to take you a super long time to get there all right take a quick look here at some of the houses that are for sale in some we do want to kind of take a peek at this so we want to get an idea of what the cost of living is going to be here so you can see some of these homes uh, let's get into town here 430 499 419. This is going to be some new construction at 824, 585. You see, these are great homes. Beautiful. For way less than the average. Our MLS average is over 550,000. Anything in Seattle is going to rack up closer to 800,000. So a lot of these are a lot better priced than what you're going to find 
than what you're going to find if you were to go look in one of the major cities. So you can save yourself a few hundred thousand dollars by purchasing in Sumner and then taking that 25 or 45 minute drive into the city. Uh, a lot of the homes here are a little bit older. There's not a ton of new construction. You do see some like this one here, but this has been an established community for a long time. So you get a lot of those Northwestern style homes and properties here. So if you guys, if you have, if you have any questions about homes, I'm going to put a link in the um, description box. It has a link to right here for all these homes for sale in Sumner. All right, let's do this. Let's get out of Google Maps and let's wrap this thing up. All right, so there you have it. You have a full outline of what the 7.62 square mile town of 10,000 people situated in Southern Pierce County has to offer for you. I hope this has given you some clarity on what it would be like to live inside of Sumner. And like I said before, Chris, myself and the team, we're getting phone calls, texts and emails from people every single day that are trying to make the move right here to Sumner. So if that's you, whether it's nine days or 90 days, shoot me a phone call, a text or an email so I can help you make that smooth move up here to Sumner. Until next time, when you're up here, I can't wait to show you around.